Water is essential for life. Its life-giving chemistry has nurtured life on Earth for billions of years. 70% of the world is covered in water, but without desalination or other treatment, only 1% of this is fresh and available for consumption. South Australia is the driest state on the world's driest continent. We must be extra careful to make our water last and maintain its quality. Our environment, economy and lifestyle depend on it. That's why we monitor water. We collect information about surface water, which is on the land. It includes rivers, lakes and wetlands. Groundwater, which is below the Earth's surface. It comes from rain and rivers seeping into the ground. Both are important sources of water. Two thirds of fresh water used is for growing food. It's also used for energy production, mining, processing and manufacturing. Water is central to all living things in Aboriginal First Peoples communities. And our plants and wildlife need it. We should be fair about how we share it with each other and with other living things. We should ensure there is enough for the future. To share it fairly, we need to know how much water there is, the quality of it, where it is, and how these things change over time. Water is managed under state legislation. Data enables us to manage water and operate control structures like barrages and weirs. For surface water, we measure water level, flow and other factors at 245 gauging stations. For groundwater, we measure depth to water and salinity in over 3,600 wells. SA Water, the EPA, the Bureau of Meteorology and others carry out water monitoring too. Our weather and climate dictate how much water is available. Sometimes we change the natural system by using and diverting water and by building structures such as dams. The state monitoring network is modern and purpose-built. It was designed, constructed and expanded following national standards to minimise impacts on the water cycle and on dependent plants and animals. It includes some private monitoring sites. The network provides reliable data that is repeatable and defensible. With good data, we can allocate water to competing uses and design towns and roads with confidence. We can better understand the effects of climate change, droughts and flooding rains. And the more data we collect, the better we become at testing the accuracy of our predictive models. Long-term monitoring enables science and policy decisions to be made. We can plan ahead and provide warnings to communities. The data we collect must be fit for purpose. The network evolves to meet needs and respond to current questions. We monitor some sites for a short time. We might do this during a flood or an ecological study. Other sites are monitored continuously over the very long term. We do this to see trends in how land use and climate change are affecting the water resource. Water data is available to everyone on the Water Connect website. We add value to much of our data by creating maps, models or graphs. We can see trends in how water responds to impacts and access information about the status of surface water and groundwater. Monitoring allows us to manage and allocate water fairly and with low risk to users and the environment. Also, we can manage emergency response to floods. Data collected today will be used tomorrow and for generations to come. 
The trends and natural cycles shown in the data provide an evidence base on which we make decisions. The result is clean water, a strong economy and a resilient natural environment. While we don't know what the challenges of tomorrow will be, we will continue to collect data to help us meet them.